Now, do you know that when we talk about faith, many people get faith wrong, but I'm not here to condemn. Just, just calm down, calm down, calm down. <laughs> I'm just trying to explain that faith actually has a, a, a universal application. Faith is not about being a Christian. Faith is not about being a Muslim. Faith is not about being a Hindu or a... No, 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 no. Faith is the universal language of the supernatural. A man who is a Hindu, if he has faith, Concerning the things he believes in, do you know that they will come to pass? It's amazing. Are you telling me that most of them don't pray and get answers? How did they get the answers? By faith. What of Christians? The same thing. But today I want to introduce you to the highest level of faith. This one is beyond religion. This is not about being a Christian, a Muslim. No, 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 no. This is about faith. The way the creator, the way the maker meant faith to mean. So what is this kind of faith? Let's quickly go to the book of Mark. We read in the last, um, you know, five minutes, we talked about Mark chapter 11. We saw how from verse 11 up to verse 22, Jesus Christ caused the fig tree, and the fig tree actually dried up. I don't want to go into the dynamics of what made him cause that fig tree, because the fig tree, the Bible says, right, had plenty of leaves, but it was not yet time for the fig to, to, to have fruit. And he wanted to eat, he was hungry, and there was no fruit. There's something there I'm going to explain next time, honestly, because it, it, even me, it baffles me. The Bible says, and Jesus answering, said to the fig tree. That means the fig tree must have spoken. And Jesus gave a command, I want to eat. The fig tree said, no, you're not going to eat me today. And Christ cursed him. Now, like I said, that's deep, it's mystical even. I won't discuss it today. But let's just look at the part for us to learn. In verse 22 of Mark chapter 11, Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God. What was he trying to tell his disciples? That it was because of his faith in God that made him do what he did and succeeded. <sighs> Remember in John chapter 5 verse 30, Jesus Christ said, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my will by the will of him that sent me. So take note of that, John 5, 30. He said, as I hear, I judge. So for faith to be supernatural, you must first hear from God. That is saying, because the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The book of Romans chapter 10. So you can see that, that's verse 17, I think, Romans 10, 17, okay? So the real faith that is supernatural, that has no barrier, is when you hear a word from God. If God says something, you better believe it. Like they say, you can take it to the bank. Number two, Jesus Christ said, not just do I do what the word of God tells me, I also walk according to his will. So the word, one, two, the will. So you have the word and you have the will. So for faith to be supernatural, it must be according to the word of God. It also must be according to the will of God. What is the difference between the two? The difference is that the word contains the will, but the will is that factor that brings out the power inside the word. You may know that you need to do something, for example, but you don't do it. It takes action of the will, of the mind, to get it done. So many people forget about the will, but when you forget about the will, even what you know you should do, you don't do it, it won't work. Okay? There's the noun, there's the verb. The noun is when the word comes, it's just like a noun. It says, what should you do? But the will is, how should you do it? Why should you do it? You have to get it done. So Christ was like that. He never heard from God and didn't obey. It's just like Abraham, Papa Abraham. God said to him to sacrifice Isaac, the mystery also. And I, uh, Abraham obeyed him. That was the word and the will. And that's why the power came to Abraham to become the father of all nations because God saw him as a covenant person. Number three, and I will discuss more of this when we come back, but I just want to let you see how uh, the word and the will of God constitute the critical ingredients of supernatural faith. If God said it, it's going to be so. Remember what Jesus Christ said in Mark chapter 10, verse 27, and Mark chapter 9, verse 23. He said, with God, all things are possible. And he also said, to him that believeth, all things are possible. When you bring God together with a man that believes, wow, wow. <laughs> what you get is a supernatural combination. So faith, to do the supernatural, I'll take it when I come back. <laughs>